So, so go go to power side. This is the air fuel heater circuit. Power side right there. Boom. Cursor triggers at 12 volts. This is power in. All right, go to control side. Zero right there, and it bumped up. Zero, and that's the control side right there. We have high resistance in this heater circuit. Now we're going to use the ohm meter. We have 12 volts in, and maybe three, two volts out. That's high resistance, baby. Let's see if this ohm meter agrees. There we go. So turn the key off, never want to check resistance with power. Oh, it's giving me something different. Five, 500 ohms, kilo ohm. There you go, 500 kilo ohm. High resistance, baby. Get the amp clamp. It's in the same box, probably. Quick tip, if you're looking at oxygen sensor connectors or oxygen sensors, there's gonna be two wires that are the same color. On this one is two black wires. The two black wires are your heater circuit. Sometimes there are two white wires. Those are your heater circuits. On this green wire pretty much? And, uh, you can go on either side of the heater circuit. You just wanna go on uh, one of the black wires. If you can go, I don't know, yeah, it really doesn't matter. I don't have a preference. I kind of actually prefer power side, but it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, Ohm's law, or not Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's law, current in should be current out. But what you'll see is no law is perfect, real world stuff. Let's say you have five volt or five amps on one side, you're gonna have four and a half or 4.8 on one side. That's fine. That's perfect. Green wires to the computer? Yeah. You're backwards then. Current flows through the front of the probe backwards. It's baby. Invert this, what? Invert. <laughs> My man, I don't have that option. There we go. Invert. Goddamn new use goes with the invert option. Here, I'll, uh, well, yeah, fuck it. You'll see in the video. Flat. Nothing. So now I want to see you uh, go to the, turn it off. Voltage control. Uh, clamp this onto the green wire side. Take the probe off. Or, or actually leave it and just disconnect it right here so you don't have to mess with that again. So then pretty much the black wire on the same side? Yeah, exactly. So what, how you measured that uh, three volts out? Turn it off. And you go key on. Your key on right now? Go key off. What? That makes no sense. Fucking invert. That's why I don't fuck with that. So yeah, now we are good. So okay, I'm gonna turn it on and you're gonna watch it. For, uh... See right there, computer is trying to ground it out. That's cranking, then it grounds it out. Or grounded. No current, ground, needs a sensor. High resistance, baby.
This man desperately needs AES wave back probes. <laughs> Boom, one and a half. There we go. Usually it's about one and a half or 13, 11. So anywhere from one to, I'm gonna say 20. Good. My man. So now you're gonna verify the repair with current. Go to menu. On the very right. So uh, vertical, hit okay. See the very bottom says probe cal. Go down, 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 down. Don't press anything. Go left and right. When you see this one to one, see now it's, oh, what the hell? You just went right once? Left they, once. They, okay, left one. Ah, okay. So maybe I should do that. I hit right. So I have to go through the whole menu, but right there is exactly where you want to be for 20 amps. So, uh, see that says 100 to one? Mm -hmm. 20 amp, 100 to one. Don't, yeah, you turn on. But you want to, Oh, I press OK. So now I hit zero. Let me see what. Is this thing dead or what? The key's also not on. Well, also, you're on fucking goddamn 700 amps, brother. How did that get up so high? Go to the 100 amp. Oh, 100 amps per go, fucking division. No, okay, so we'll go. So this is your total screen like a snap on then this is per division you want this one to be like uh well we saw 10 on my known good so 14 maybe go to, go to 20 go down 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 keep going keep going about right there 14 total screen that's perfect 500 millisecond scale time base that's good pretty much set well hold on now see if when you hit zero if it reacts on there. Boom. Now you're good. So I'm going to sorry for you. Because I've seen this plenty of times. I want you to see it. Invert it. Damn it. So this is live, baby. There it is, baby. That's current. And then you're gonna see it pulse. Give a second, give a second, give a second. It's like, oh shit, we got a working sensor now. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then raise your cursor, your uh, trigger up to like the top. So you can see a peak to peak current. So about, yeah, six amps. Let's go and get that. Drop that. There we go. 6.08 amps. Peak to peak, middle is probably 3.5 or so because it's like a 60% duty cycle. So we're done. Jeremy, <laughs> my man. Jeremy and Diagnostic Dentist out.